my name is Stephanie and I'm going to show you how to download fonts and use them in Cricut. Uh, the problem here is if you use design fonts or design bundles or whatnot like I do, you're going to notice that uh, whatever you are downloading is not going to be working. So uh, I go to design fonts, this is design bundles, but I go to designfonts.net. And I have downloaded a whole bunch of fonts using my credits. And they are WFF files. And I noticed, okay, they weren't working. I would go search them in my system in Cricut, and they would not be working. So I figured out how to do this, and I figured I could share with other people out there who are learning as I am. Okay, so, sorry I got three little ones at home, so it's a little hard to do this, but... Um, what you're going to want to do after you, do, after you download your fonts that you want and you see their WFF web design fonts, you are going to want to download uh, a program called FontForge. Um, FontForge is pretty simple. It's pretty easy. And you will be able to uh, change the file of your fonts in order for Cricut to use it. So let me show you how I did this. I downloaded this. Just Google FontForge and download it to your computer. Uh, when you click on it, you will have something like this pop up. Now, uh, make sure you have Cricut and everything else closed out. Uh, if it's not closed out, uh, you'll have to restart it later on to get your fonts to download. So make sure all that's closed out. Now open FontForge and uh, you want to look uh, any Well, yours is probably going to be under downloaded, but you want to put them in maybe a file in Documents. I made a file called Fonts in Documents, um, and that's where I kept my fonts that I downloaded. So you want to open up the font that you created. Now, this one's already OTF, but yours is not going to look like that. It's going to look like a WF or a w yeah, a WFF file. Um, so you open it up, and this is what you're going to see. It's going to show your font right here. So you're going to want to click on File, and you're going to want to go down to Generate Fonts right here. So click on that. You're going to have this box, box pop up, and it will show your, your uh, uh, fonts right here, uh, which is what is already open. And you are going to want to change it to OTF. Okay, right now you probably have uh, like WOFF right there. So you don't want that. We want to change it to OTF. Click on OTF. Press generate. You're going to see this. Um, press yes. Press generate. And it will generate your font into OTF, which you can use on Cricut, okay? So, now that you changed your font into OTF, I had to do this with a lot of my fonts, by the way. Make sure you do not have it double downloaded just so the computer, you know, the system doesn't confuse it. Um, I ended up saving all of my fonts uh, under my Cricut file uh, right here. So I have it all saved. And that's what uh, you're going to know. That's what it looks like uh, when it's changed. That's kind of what the icon will look like. And over here you will see it says open type font file. So OTF. So all of these have been converted through the system I showed you. Now what happens is once you have all of that done and they're all saved, uh, delete the original files so it doesn't confuse the computer so keep the otfs delete the w o f f if you still have it on there uh, delete it uh, so you're going to close all of this out this is when you want to close everything and then you want to restart your cricut now when you open cricut oh one sec sorry once again my kids okay so here I am, uh, I put this example here, so you want to open text, write something out, click on it, and you can come up here to font. Uh, you want to go to system, a system will be whatever you downloaded in your computer, 
And then let's say I want to make sure that the melting one I did for Halloween downloaded. So I named it melt something. Uh, so I'm going to put melt and I'm going to search. And look, there it is. So, um, that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, for a while there, I kept opening Cricut and I was wondering, okay, well, where did my files go? I know I downloaded them. Um, if this, if the, if it does not show up in system, by the way, if you go to look for it and you're searching and it says no results, there's nothing there. Uh, and like nothing pops up and it says like, you know, no results. Okay, so what you're going to have to do is close out Cricut. Again, you want to close everything out. Say quit, close out. You're going to want to open your uh, files that you changed. So mine, like I said, is under my Cricut folder. Where did I put it? There it is. So mine's under here, under fonts. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double click on your fonts. You downloaded the OTF uh, files. So melted, let's click on that. And you're gonna wanna press install at the top. Now I already installed it, so obviously it's saying it's already here, so I'm not gonna install it. But you're gonna click on that and it'll show this little box and it will download. Now once that downloads, you close it out, close it out, and you will restart Cricut and it should be right there. So we restart Cricut. Uh, let's say start new project, put in text, and you're going to want to go to system, and let's see if my warrior one downloaded like I wanted it to. Yeah, see this one says nothing came up, so either it didn't download, let's check, oops, nope. So, install. I'm going to replace it just in case because I'm not quite sure what happened here. Though that's probably not going to show up since I just re-downloaded it. So, let's look and see if the Thanksgiving font has downloaded. So, close that out. Let's look for Thanksgiving since Thanksgiving is around the corner. And there it is, Thanksgiving. So, um, that's pretty much how you do that. And it, like I said, if it doesn't show up, like mine just did not show up, you want to try to reinstall it, close out Cricut, restart Cricut, and see if it's there. But yeah, it's really not that difficult. Um, hopefully, I helped you guys out because I know it's a learning experience for me. I just started using all these programs. But yeah, uh, if you guys need anything, just hit me up.